Okay, is this bad lighting? I think it is, but I honestly can't tell. Hi everyone, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Maddie, and I post bookish related content every single Monday. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, make sure you subscribe. So today we are doing my 2021 goal video. I tried to do one of these last year for 2020 and I just couldn't get it right and I'm hoping that that doesn't happen this year. Um, we're in a different like setup because I actually have my desk here. I wanted to film it in front of that desk but I just, I like the bookshelves behind me no matter how messy that, that shelf is. Uh, anyway, so yeah, today we're going to talk about my goals. Um, I did a video where I talked about like author slash writing goals. I did that um, late last year, like in September, I believe. And that just talks about all of my like goals I want to accomplish eventually as an author. Um, but these goals are specific to the year of 2021. Um, so let's get into it. So my first section is going to be YouTube and my YouTube goal is to post one video a week um, every Monday and I would like to post weekly vlogs when it comes to the nano months, April, July, and November. Um, and maybe I'll put a few writing vlogs throughout there, maybe I'll just make those uh, Monday videos. I don't really know, but I would like to post at least every single Monday. I do actually have a lot of videos coming out in January because they're supposed to be videos I put out in December, but they, I, I, I don't have time to film them in December because first of all, one of them is related to all the books I read in the month and in the year of 2020 so I kind of can't film that till 2020 is over um and I have a whole bunch of other videos that I would like to film and get out and I just I don't I can't get them all out in December if I'm doing one video a week so I do have a ton of videos uh coming out in well I already not a ton but I know what's going to be posted in January I have videos for February coming out like reading vlogs I thought where I was gonna post like in January now they got pushed back to uh February February because I have so many December videos that I need to put in January. So the beginning of 2021, I do have uh, videos for. It's just, can I keep up with it the whole year? This was a goal I had for 2020 and I did not keep up with it. I just don't, I don't know what to post. I'm like, I don't know. So if you guys have any video suggestions you would like to see, tell me in the comments because there's like a very large chance that I'm going to do them. Um, so don't be afraid to ask. Like, I've got three suggestions so far and I've done every single one of them, so your odds are pretty good. So let's move on to my reading goals and I really... I do have a few, but my main one is to read 50 books in 2021. Now, I was going to bump this up to 100 because only in, like, since, like, April, my granny and I started buddy reading books together, and I have read, I'm, I'm filming this before the year's over, but we're going to say, like, 60 books, or pretty dang close to 60 books, um, in this year, and I hadn't even been reading with my granny for the first few months of the year, so I was like, yeah, let's get cocky and put a hundred books, but you know what, we can, like, aim for, we can, like, shoot for the stars, but aim, wait, no, what's, we can aim for the stars, but shoot for the moon, what's the saying? I don't know, um, so I would like to read 50 books in 2021, this is very doable, I have really upped my book intake, which is good, because I've also upped, my additions to the shelves and take though I read in my shelves we do have a video going up on and I have one shelf less of books than I did before I read in my shelf so I don't know um but yes I would like to read 50 books hopefully a little bit more than that um because I'm really enjoying reading and you know I don't really know what 2021 holds. I know it doesn't hold any vacations, so no matter how much I want vacations. And yeah, those were the short sections. Now let's get into the writing section. So for 2020, I actually wanted to write two drafts, and I had specific, specific stories I wanted to get the zero drafts done for. 
And I didn't draft a single one of those. I drafted one story in the month of 20, in the year of 2020, and that was in November. It was only 24,000 words, but I did write a story. I wrote a book, okay, and amazing. Uh, so 2021, I'm kind of going for a lot of ambition. Um, but here we go. So, uh, not really in great order. Uh, well, in January, I have plans to edit TKLS, which is the story I wrote in NaNo. I let it sit for December, and I'm excited to hop back into it in January. Very excited to hop back into it and just get back in the world with those characters and make my uh, scene where the sister dies a lot more emotional, because I didn't cry for the sister, but I cried for an unnamed character. Um, so, yes. Um, so I like to edit TKLS, and then... I'd like to write the sequel to TKLS in November, though. Like, that's going to be the book I write for 2021's November NaNoWriMo. I would like to write the sequel to TKLS, T-B-B. Yeah, T-B-B. I think that's the correct abbreviation of it. Um, oops. So, yes, uh, those, like, those, like, weren't in order, but I thought I would mention the sequel part because I was already talking about TKLS. So, yes, edit TKLS and also draft the first draft for TBB, which is the sequel to TKLS. And then I'd also like to participate in Camp Nano April and July. I do have a story idea to write in April, and I do kind of have one for July, but honestly... I might scrap that one and think, think of a new one. Um, but I do have one that I would like to write in April. It is a mill grade that I've been actually starting to plot and outline uh, the month of December just to, like, get this story out of my head. I would like to draft that sometime in the year of 2021. But, you know, last year I told I said two stories that I wanted to write and I didn't write a single one of them. Granted, I didn't outline them, and I've found out that I am a plotter. I need a plot. Is it has to be a chapter? Hey, my memory card. <laughs> my memory card is full, and I do not currently want to export all the videos I have on there. So, let's get back to the goals. As I was saying, in 2020, I found out that I was a very big outliner. Like, I don't have to have chapter-by-chapter chapter outlines, though I do really appreciate them. Um, I just have to make sure I have, like, the most, like, a majority of the story plotted so I found that out and I did not know that when I, I came into this year like I had a feeling that I was a plotter but like it wasn't set in stone and now it is set in stone I really hate that my camera is full I, I could just export the videos but I'm not gonna do that um so yes <laughs> I'd like to uh edit not edit write write Marty Mate. sorry the memory card thing threw me off I'm sorry if the quality is not good this is on my phone because I want to film this video so here we are um I would also like oh we'll draft the first book in a middle grade series that's what I was talking about for April that doesn't have to be the book I write in April but that's kind of what I was thinking um maybe April is more of a like outlining and plotting and editing month and then July would be when I drafted that but I would like to draft the first book in a middle grade series I do have a few in my head but the one I'm thinking about so far is the one that I have already started outlining because I've already started outlining it um so it makes sense <laughs> um I would also which this one isn't on here because it didn't start happening until or uh, like a few days ago but I would like to finish the first draft of the story I am co-writing with Sophie uh who has a YouTube channel here I will leave it linked down below I'm trying not to look at my face but it's very hard not to do that um but she does have her own YouTube channel so I will leave that linked in the description box but we did start talking about writing a book together and writing like just a story together and I would like to get the first draft of that done we could probably if we do draft the first draft then we could definitely get further in that in this year than just the first draft but um, like I said my writing goals are already really ambitious so we're just gonna say the, fir the first draft or the zero draft whatever you want to call it okay whatever you want to call it I call it the first draft but it's like I also called it a zero draft earlier so you know it's a whole mess um but yeah that's kind of it oh wait Hold on. Um, and then I actually don't have these in my notes, so 
I forgot to mention them, but it does have to do with working out and being healthy. I've been working out uh, for, it'll be two years this year. Um, and I just haven't been enjoying it recently. So one of my goals is to start enjoying working out again and to also eat healthier because I was doing, like when I first started working out, I did really, really good. Like I got off sugar, I was semi eating the stuff you're supposed to when you're doing muscle building. Um, and then my birthday came and we went on a cruise that year and I didn't, I ate sugar on the cruise, but then I never got back on the wagon. I just kept watching it as it uh, drove past me. Um, and that pretty much happened the entirety of 2020. So for 2021, I want to eat healthier and start working out more, get a haircut. I really need a, I need a haircut. I, I I really do. So that's another goal, get a haircut, a few haircuts probably, you know, not just one, but a couple of them, like a handful, more than a, more than a handful. I just, I'd like a haircut. <laughs> um, so yes, I wanted to also add in my workout because I do want to start focusing on that. I would like to hold a five minute plank by the end of the year. Seven minutes would be amazing, but it's hard. I keep forgetting that I need to hold a plank and it's really hard for me to hold a plank when it's just myself. Like if I'm going up against somebody, I'm gonna like push myself until I'm literally shaking. But when it's just me, I really struggle with that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so I'll see you guys all next Monday for another video. And hey, do not forget that I'm still a freaky bulldozer. Bye everyone.